Coming up, the Bengals take on the Lions. They're the only two teams without a playoff win this century. At the Buffalo and Cleveland, each won a playoff game in 2020. Cincy and Detroit square off. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago. And of course, the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up with the Cincinnati Bengals. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They come in in the midst of a pretty bad stretch here. Losers are five straight. So many different reasons teams hit the losing skids, but the best way out of it, something has to happen positive early in the game. Meanwhile, for the Bengals here, they too were losers last week, so they're also hoping to get back in the win column. Something's got to give in this one, right? Both teams want to start a new streak, and they both want it to be a victory. This should be a fun one. So it's five play the moments that we get here. I'm gonna skip ahead to this first chance here. Defense playing well early on. Holds him to a field goal, but the offense needs to do something. Let's maybe hop in and check out this defense early on because we're gonna keep this score down for Joe Burrow and the boys. This scrappy Dan Campbell. Offense and defense for Detroit. Looking to pull off the upset this week. Only 23 passing yards for Joe Burrow in the first half. Only eight rushing yards. We know this team likes to run inside, so look out for that. And get eight. First carry. Get him down. Yikes. Tough to come away with a stop now. I'm gonna predict they're gonna run it even though they're in shotgun. We got a body on everybody. And easy peasy. Let me walk into the end zone. Yikes. All right, can we get a little offensive playage here? Yes, good drive. Joe Burrow, much needed answer. See if we can punch this into the end zone. Jamar Chase in the lead block here. They're blocking, but they bring Mixon down with like a Tracy Walker finding us in the end zone or out in the backfield. We're gonna spread it out a little more. Looks like a good opportunity actually to run this. Work our way up here, Quentin Spain. Find him, good blocking. Come on, Mixon. Much better. One yard to go. Little RPO stretch run. I do like the stretch. Much more than the bubble. And that's why. That's a touchdown. Two moments down. Defense cannot come up with a stop, but we get a two minute drill. Home field is in favor of Detroit right now. A lot of momentum. This crowd looking for their first win on the season. And Mixon drops the angle route. Come on, Joe. that against the zero blitz. But Jamar Chase, can you get an open middle of the field look here? Just take the take the check down, but now Detroit's trying to get this ball back. Going with that Zach Taylor empty formation here. Big fan of empty there in Cincinnati. T Higgins, no. Burrow scrambling, can we run for it? Can we get a block? No, Mixon fumbles it, and it's recovered by Romeo Aquara. 
Oh no! This was supposed to be an easy win and so far Detroit has come to play. We only have two moments left. Detroit gets the touchdown. I'm going to skip the dr uh, drive opportunity there. We only have two moments left. Uh, midfield, keep the drive alive. We're moving. This is big. We got to finish this off. First and 10. Stop, that is three, uh, no, 23, not quite sure who that's going to be. Coming out more of a dollar defense here. Should be able to get some good running yardage here. Oh, no. Poor execution on the RPO. Burrow makes a bad mistake. Had all the room in the world to run it and Burrow for some reason flips it out there making it a difficult difficult third and 11 a must have play the deep dig is intercepted and this couldn't be a worse start Alex Anzalonze has two interceptions Defense does get the ball. Burrow answers. Defense is going to get a stop. And now, a big fourth down. With Burrow trying to get this team in scoring range. Thaddeus Moss in motion. Going to flip it out to Moss. He's going to outrun Tracy Walker. And there's Randy's son. Big first down. Ooh, definitely an ugly trip to Detroit so far, but this game is far from over. Going to get a zero blitz type of look here. Cover one, and nobody there. Burrow's just going to have to throw this one away. Second down run. Good blocking. But an even better play by Anzalone. He's having a heck of a game here for the Detroit Lions. Big third and eight. Clock is ticking. T. Higgins maybe has one on one. Nope, it's a zone. Bro. Under pressure. Slides it in there. Tyler Boyd moves the sticks. Tick, 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 however. And the right tackle. Reef gets demolished by Romeo Aquari and Burrow no chance. The clock continues to run. Going back to the dig. Burrow was intercepted the last time on this, but that deep dig this time is there. Jamar Chase over the middle. Hurry up offense. Remember, we can play inside the two minute warning. There's T. Higgins, gonna get tackled. Two minute warnings on our side. Thanks, Nice. Nice. Front with the linebacker in a three point stance there. We get one more playoff before half, maybe go double slants. Third and goal. Blitz is on, Burrow's gonna roll out. Throws it, and it's caught. Tyler Boyd, Ooh. thrown behind him. Big time drive. And now, can the defense come up with a stop? Get the ball back for Joe Burrow. Oh, big run. And the clock's going to run. And it's second and one. That is a worst case scenario for. The Bengals. And, uh, Zach Taylor is actually going to dial up an offsides jump here to force a new first down because the probability of getting a stop of one yard is extremely low. 
So the analytical play there is to jump off sides. We've seen teams do this in recent years. And can the run defense step up this time? I'm gonna guess a run left. The clock is gonna run as the jump off sides comes late there. So the clock really working against the Bengals now. And field position a little more. You prefer to jump off sides a little earlier in the play clock on that one. We do have all of our timeouts. Tackled. Get him down. Get him down. Good tackle. 36 seconds remaining. Detroit on third and nine. What will they do? You have to be cautious for a pass here. They run it. Burrow's going to get a chance. Jim Carrey's excited. We're gonna return it. Darius Phillips with a spin move. 23 seconds for Joe Burrow. It's a nearly impossible effort, but we've seen Detroit screw this up in the past. Can we have a Aaron Rodgers Hail Mary moment maybe here in Ford Field? Potentially, Burrow hits CJ Uzuma. The truck stick. Tyler Boyd, can he get the block? He does. And Uzuma's gonna go out of bounds at the 15 yard line. So you're telling me there's a chance. What a play. Yeah. And now it's very possible. Potential blitz coming off the left side. Burrow's gonna call Uzuma over. Just kidding. Just an adjustment from Burrow. Uzuma's gotta get out of bounds, gotta get out of bounds. He does. Ideally, Bengals can get two plays off here. Boyd's open, and he's got it! Are you kidding me? Unbelievable comeback. Up to Evan McPherson who was the dud of the Bengals last week, costing them the game against Green Bay. Can he hit the game-winning PAT, getting iced? This is unbelievable. <laughs> the rookie lines up for the extra point. The kick is through. And Detroit, in heartbreaking fashion for about the sixth time this year, in just as many games is four seconds away from falling to 0-6. Dan Campbell in tears. The squib kick is on. Three, two, one, zero. Oh my God. What a win in the Bengals. Climbed to four and two, and Joe Burrow, after a horrific start to the game, leads an epic comeback. Wow. Stat line ends up looking pretty good for Joey Franchise. 320 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Nothing going on the ground for Joe Mixon. But Jamar Chase, big game, 108 yards. Tyler Boyd with the game winner. Defensively, just unable to get after Goff in this one. And it almost cost us, but what a win. And with that, we are going to advance to take on the Ravens, who are 4-1 and one and are now 5-1. We do have a breakout player, which means a chance to hop in for 15 plays of defense as Shadobe Awuzie has the objective of holding down, who very well may be the MVP of, of certainly the Ravens, but maybe the NFL. And let's go ahead and do that. 15 snaps with Shadobe Awuzie. We are going to do our weekly strategy first. And that's going to involve containing the QB scramble. We know the Ravens like to do that. 
And our defensive approach, I would like to, I think, throw it medium. Sticking with that plan. And Jonah Williams is going to get his second upgrade of this season, up to a 77 with a little morale boost there. Again, only 23 years old, Jonah Williams. We need him to continue turning into a superstar left tackle. But let's go ahead and hop in playing 15 snaps here with the free agent pickup from the Dallas Cowboys. Certainly not easy to get this as a corner. I think I want to stick to certain downs here. So let's see if we can get a third down. Third and inches not really going to help us. Ravens just marching right on down the field. Okay, here we go. Second and ten. So let's hop in. Oh. Oh, 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 Shadome Awuzie forces the fumble. Are you kidding me? Oh, what a play. That'll, uh, that'll help. First play, we get our first nod towards a superstar for Shadobe Awuzie. And let's skip to our next defensive look here. Three and out. Let's hop in. All of a sudden, it might be a little run defense support that gets us here. It is a run. Well, we helped, but it's not going to help our breakout. No one on our side of the field. Should we take a gamble? Oh, I whiffed. That's going to be our third play right there. Maybe the angle here needs to change for the cornerbacks just a little bit too difficult. Let's go with uh, this angle, I suppose. There's a TFL. Third and five. Cover two is uh, always opportunistic way to get a pick. And they're gonna pick it up. Need that pass rush to get in there a little more than that. Lamar makes us miss. As he likes to do. Let's go back into Sim for a little bit here. Oh, hold on. What happened there? Lamar throws an interception. Don't tell me it was to Shadobe Awuzie. Nope. Logan Wilson picks off Lamar. Hey, we'll take that for our defense. And Burrow puts it in. Okay. We're gonna have a third and five. Let's play it. Oh man, we gave that up. We gave that up. Not expecting the comeback, or Lamar makes us pay. That's the end of the first quarter. Eight plays in. This has run written all over it. Good job. Logan Wilson, have a day. He might have his own breakout next week. Oh, we just got absolutely pancaked. Absolutely put on butts. Yikes. Oh, we forced him outside. We only have four plays left. Second and ten, looks like a run. Man, kind of getting bodied out on the outside. So I'm going to simulate, maybe try and get some third and longs. The Ravens are going to answer. Uh-oh, we threw a pick. 
but the defense answers. There you go, Joe Burrow. I think I'll skip this, this drive. 14-13. Can we get, they're backed up on their four yard line, so we can, can we get a third and long here? Third and six. Let's go cover two, let's see if we can bait them. Nope, didn't get it. They do only have 111 yards passing, which is part of the scenario. Let's see if we can get a long drive here. Nice job. If nothing else, our team is winning. Lamar on the on the move here. Okay, we got a third down and four. Let's skip it. The Ravens answer and get the two point. Okay, Burrow, what do you got? What are you made of? Oh no, Marcus Peters interception returns it to the 22. We do get a, oh, I'm not sure what that was. Some kind of penalty maybe. Third and goal at the three. This is huge, let's play this, if nothing else, just to try to keep them out. Oh, and a TFL from a Wouzier, if they give it to him. A huge play either way. Predicting read option there. Not sure if they'll give him the TFL or not, but between the forced fumble and the TFL there, that just might get him the breakout. Now Burrow is gonna have to do something. We have one play left. Here's a third and eight. So let's let's play this and then we will have to simulate to the end of this game. It'll be our last play. I'm gonna go with this angle. Picks it up with his feet. And that is all of our plays. So now we have to simulate to the end of the game, which hurts to do. Let's slow it down. Let's what's what's going on. Looks like they're kneeing it out. And we lose 24 to 21. Burrow just couldn't get the job done. 181 yards against a good Ravens defense. Two more picks this week. The ground game still not doing too much. Obviously a great team that we lost just barely to, but it does hurt. But let's find out if Shadobe Awuzie is gonna get this breakout. Force fumble, potentially a TFL in there. Jackson Carmen gets an upgrade. Two strength boost, up to 91 strength, that's nice. And, no, he does not get it. Which means we are on to the New York Jets, a game that we should be able to win. Gonna go ahead and simulate this one, I think. We do have our next mock draft. The Jets are still one in five. We have a, our first mock draft. And they're dropping Thibodeau with this Will Kidd out of Boston College moving up. Kyle Hamilton to the Eagles. Stingley to the Jets. So it looks like this Derek Theory is on the rise at tackle. And Will Kidd out of Boston College Let's see, what have, what have our scouts learned about Will Kidd? He has excellent pursuit ability. Always looks for the massive hit. He's got a spin as a counter move. So he's got speed to power, he's got bull, or he's got um, finesse moves. Good athlete, so he is definitely intriguing. What do they say about Derek Theory out of Michigan? Not much yet. I like this. We, uh, we get to learn about these guys. Sean Greenberry out of USC, 5'9". We don't really need receivers, but I'm just curious. Okay. Continue to take a look at the risers and fallers. I think we also have 
uh, never mind. We're going to keep our scouts where they're at until we get closer to the fully scouted range for those guys. Weekly awards. Logan Wilson, we did mention he had a heck of a game. So it's Jets this week. I'm going to simulate this one, hoping we can take home the win. And we still have five games of Play the Moments remaining. I'm going to use that against the Cleveland Browns Week 9. Uh, as far as any trades we might, might want to make here, let's see. I wonder if at 3-4 and four, the Philadelphia Eagles would be willing to part with either Lane Johnson or even Calamente would be an upgrade for us if we wanted to swing a little lower because they do have apparently nobody on their roster at offensive line. Here we go. <laughs> they do have, um, say, Amalu would be an upgrade for us. But I do think about Lane Johnson. It looks like he's too big of a cap penalty to make a move for him. But I think I am going to give them a call about Isaac Sayamala, who would be an upgrade for us. I wonder if we could get him for cheap. Or if they value him. Can we throw a fifth round pick their way for him? No, they're going to be stubborn about that. What about... Fourth, I, I don't even know if a fourth rounder is truly worth it. Let's. They're close, but they're not selling. No one's ever selling offensive linemen. You can't say we didn't make a few phone calls, um, but we're going to have to just roll with what we've got, especially offensive line. You know, We're not the only team looking for a good offensive lineman, but I'm not going to give up a third round pick for Senio Calamente. But let's go ahead and simulate this week against the New York Jets, who are 1-5. Hopefully we can pick up a win here. And we do. 22-18, to 18, a hard-fought victory. And a huge game against the Browns, who are 5-3. We are 5-3. So we are going to defend that outside zone run against this team. we got to keep Nick Chubb down. And we are going to blitz counter this week against Miles Garrett. I think I also want to uptick our practice intensity. The guys have been taking it easy for a few weeks. And I am going to have a in-season preset breakout here of don't allow a sack to Miles Garrett and don't allow a sack in general. And if we achieve this, if we get through this game and don't allow a sack against Miles Garrett, we are going to raise Jonah Williams to superstar. Now, the probability of that happening is quite low, but it's a big matchup. It's a big week for Jonah Williams going against Defensive Player of the Year candidate, Miles Garrett. Week 9, division likelihood to win is on the line. Big, big week. Jamar Chase, who should have his... Superstar now. That's big. We'll take a look at what traits he has. I'm going to keep going deep threat for him. Nice. And we got the bye week coming up next week as well. A definite mismatch. 87 overall. Now that's actually offense. 83 overall versus 78 overall. But here we go. Big, big week. Let's put the... Okay, we got the black jerseys on this week. Here we go. It is at home. Defense. Ooh, gets us the ball back. Some sort of a turnover there. Oh. And the game crashes. Hopefully we can get back in. Thanks, EA Sports. It's in the game. It looks like we can. Hopefully it registered that turnover. No, it did not. So, does it even have our playbook? Let's see. Bummer. So far we're getting our butts kicked, but here we go. Looks like it's got our playbook at least. Okay, first and goal from the eight. 
Good looking drive from Burrow so far. We should be able to hit someone here. There you go, Uzuma. A five yard completion. Nice defense, Cleveland. They got Miles Garrett at nose tackle and JOK at edge. Five seconds after the game just crashed. Thanks, EA. Oh, come on, Mixon. Good, good run. Almost. All right, I am going to go put Jamar Chase in the slot for this formation. Run a little pot pass. Ooh, I don't know if I like it, though. They got plenty of defenders over there. I'm actually just going to hand this off to Sam. Fight! Oh, man. We are going to go. Come on, Mixon. There we go. Woo. That wasn't pretty, but we made it happen. Good job. Ooh, okay. Defense gets us a stop. It's more like it. Let's go slants. Burrow gets rid of it, and Uzuma into the end zone. You like that? You like that? Two moments down. Defense gives up the touchdown. Ooh. Come on, empty-handed there before halftime. All right. Come on, let us get in here, EA. And we'll, we'll have to play this drive. Fourth quarter, third and ten. Probably four down territory for us. So we don't need it all at once. We do have Jamar Chase. And some outside apprentice hot route options. I think I'll keep them. Let's actually get them on a comeback here. Got another, another glitch. Can't snap the ball. Yikes, dude. This is... It's a glitchy game, glitchy, glitchy game. I guess I'll, I can't even call a timeout. I can't do anything. Jesus, this is Thanks, nice. EA. And we give up a sack. He had a sack anyway, so. We weren't gonna get our little breakout. This game's getting away from us now. Although, nice drive here. Glitching all over the place here. Can Burrow make the throw? Jamar! Nice play. Just run it. Oh, he fumbles it out the back of the end zone for a touchback. Oh my gosh. And they're going to give Miles Garrett a sack for that. What a play. My goodness. This is our last moment right here. Garrett's in the zone. So we're going to have to make sure we're blocking him. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Is Boyd going to go all the way? Okay, Joe Burrow. Okay. What a play. Defense still freaking gives up another touchdown. We're just going to have to be happy with that touchdown. Because I think that's all we're going to get. That's another good play from Burrow. I mean, he's making stuff happen. It's not his fault the defense is getting whooped. garbage time opportunities here. Let's try to not let Miles Garrett murder us. Burrow's looking spry out here though. Man, Miles Garrett is just eating Riley for freaking breakfast, lunch, and dinner right now. 
final. Game over. Those Browns are nasty. Those Browns are nasty. That's a loss. Disappointing loss, but they're a good good team. Five passing touchdowns for Baker in this one. So we're going to fall to five and four. Jamar Chase, though, ever since we've been playing, has certainly started to look more like that offensive rookie of the year candidate. No breakout for Jonah Williams. And that uh, that's going to take us to the bye week here. And I believe the end of this episode. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe so you don't miss a continuation of the series. We'll see you later. Peace out.